Hi everybody, and welcome back to my next Unity tutorial series. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and make a simple uh, character controller for one of your games. It's going to be a third person uh, camera over the shoulder. Um, so, I'm just going to call this controller. So, start a new project and load Unity up. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the place we're going to walk on. So, make a plane, set it to 0, 0, 0. And we're going to create a capsule, which is going to be our character for this uh, tutorial. Set it to zero and move it up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to create a cube. Set it to zero and then move it like this so we have something to work with as a reference point. And then we're going to stretch out our uh, plane. Um, let's go ahead and create a directional light so that we can see what's going on. And on our capsule, we're going to go ahead and add a character controller. You can just type ch in the search bar, it'll bring it up. If you click it, it'll say it's going to replace an existing component, which is the capsule collider, because the con character controller is another type of collider. So just click replace, and it should be good. Um, Alright, so we're going to also import a package. Uh, so go to import package and then go to scripts and the only one we want to import is just the smooth follow camera smooth follow so wait for that to come in and then take the smooth follow and drag it to your camera and the smooth follow script requires a target so take the capsule and drag it into the target and if you click play the camera is now positioned over the shoulder of your character, or over his head. Alright. So, it's time for us to start scripting stuff. So, we're going to write a script called a controller, and we're going to drag this to our capsule. Double click it to open up Mono Develop. And we need to do three things in this. We need a float called a move speed. We need a float called a rotation speed. And we need a character controller called CC. And we're going to say that the script requires a component type of character controller and this is because we don't this is only going to work with the character controller so if you attach this script to a, another object it will only work if it has this component on it um, in the start method you want to say get component character controller so that we can get our the component that's attached to the object and the first thing we're going to do is just get some gravity working so we're going to do cc.simpleMove and we're going to use the physics class which contains something called gravity and if we save this this should apply gravity to our capsule and he falls and hits the ground. Now we want to rotate our character. And to rotate, we're going to use transform.rotate. And make this a new vector. And the axis we want to rotate around is the y axis. If you're looking down like this, you want to make it so he goes like this. So he spins around in like a circle. So that's this one. In order to 
we want it well we want to get some input key we're going to call this a axis and we're going to say horizontal horizontal and an axis is something that unity includes in your player setting or project settings under the input uh, it's part of the input manager if you see the arrow next to axes uh, you see all these different ones so I named it horizontal it's the same as this one these need to be the same you can also rename them uh, it has negative buttons and positive buttons alternative negative and alternative buttons if you hover over each one it has a little description uh, a couple of the important things to note is the gravity here it's the speed that the output value falls towards the neutral which in this case is zero since this axis is between zero and one and the sensitivity is the how it rises to uh, one. So we want to set this to 0.5 so that we have a little residual rotation. And we're going to go ahead and times this by our rotation speed and also times it by time dot delta time. And save that. Click on the cube or our capsule. And we're going to set our rotation speed up to 30 which should be about 30 degrees a second and if you hold down one of A or D or left or right your character will rotate as you see if you let go you will also continue but it will get slower until it stops now we want to move our character and this is going to be a little more complicated than rotating him we want to make a vector 3 forward and we only want to move in the blue arrow direction because if you look at when we're playing the camera sits right behind us in the blue arrow and our blue arrow is in the same line pretty much so we just want to move in that direction so in order to do this we want to say that we want to get our input, uh, get access again, but this time we're going to use the vertical for the W and S keys. And we want to times this by transform dot transform direction vector 3 dot forward. And vector 3 dot forward, it means the blue line pretty much it's so shorthand for writing um vector zero zero one one being the z direction and we want to times this by our move speed and that's it and now we want to take our forward and move our character controller by the forward times time dot delta time. If you save that, click on our capsule and go to our movement speed and set that to like four. If you click play, he'll now move in the forward direction of the blue arrow and he'll rotate around. And if you stop the camera will slowly rotate till it's behind the player and if you want your character to not stop on a dime you can go back to um, project settings input and since we used vertical for the forward and backwards movement you can change this to like one and he'll retain some forward momentum when you let go of the key Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.